Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, resuming the topic of stroke, uh, we have covered the ACA stroke and we have covered the MCA stroke. But uh, till yet, we have not talked about the internal capsule and the MCQs are coming again and again on the topic of internal capsule, the thalamus and the brain stem strokes. So today I will talk about the brain stem strokes. So there is a confused scenario coming again and again. The patient is having weakness of the body and his eyes are deviated toward the left. We already discussed that this is actually cortical stroke. Eyes are deviated to the left or eyes are deviated to the right means the patient is having homonymous hemianopia and he is looking toward the side of lesion. Another MCQ is, is a patient is having weakness of the body with one eye deviated to the outside. Now the answer to this question is this is midbrain stroke. Midbrain stroke. And another MCQ that CPSQ will confused, confuse you is regarding the mandible deviation on protrusion. So in order to know the answer to all these questions, we must know uh, the normal the normal anatomy of the midbrain bones and medulla and the cranial nerves and their distribution. So if I draw the brain stem, this is your midbrain, this is pons, this is medulla and this is spinal cord. The normal distribution of cranial nerves, we must know that third and fourth nerve lies in the midbrain, next four nerves lies in the pons and last four cranial nerves lies in the medulla. But we should know this, their distribution inside. So the third nerve and the fourth nerve, they lies in the midbrain. The third and fourth, five, six, seven, eight, fourth cranial nerve, four next cranial nerve, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, the last four cranial nerve, there is equal distribution. Four here, four here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The sixth, the sixth cranial nerve lies medially. This is the sixth cranial nerve. So five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. The twelfth nerve lies medially. Nine, ten, eleven. Nine, ten, eleven. Now this distribution is very important. <coughs> if <coughs> if we know this distribution, we can pick the MCQ very easily. Like the sixth nerve, this is third nerve. This is fourth nerve. Third nerve arises at the level of superior colliculus. <coughs> superior colliculus of the midbrain. The fourth nerve lies at the inferior colliculus of the midbrain. So they can ask you directly. A patient is having lesion at the area of superior colliculus. Which cranial nerve is involved? Third nerve. There is a lesion in the area of inferior colliculus, which nerve is involved? Fourth nerve. Now we are having sixth nerve lies in the middle, twelfth nerve. So the sixth nerve and twelfth nerve they lies in the midline. The rest of the cranial nerve lies in the periphery. So if you are having sixth nerve palsy, sixth nerve palsy, it means you have this is mid region of pons, mid pontine stroke mid pontine stroke so if there is a sixth nerve involvement it means mid pontine stroke but if there is involvement of five seven eight this is lateral pontine stroke sixth mid pontine stroke because it lies in the mid region similarly if we comes towards the medulla we are having twelfth nerve in the midline so if we are having 12 narrow palsy, it means this is medial medullary syndrome. 
medial medullary syndrome because it lies medially and if you are having lesion in the periphery the 10 10 11 12 9 10 11 12 that is lateral medullary of course medullary from medulla syndrome <coughs> now if we know the normal anatomy we can pick an mcq third and fourth neuro clear mid pontine stroke clear lateral pontine stroke clear medial medullary syndrome twelfth nerve environment lateral medullary syndrome other cranial nerves in the medulla environment so i will take a cross section of the of the med brain this is very important i am very weak in diagram so sorry for that so if this is the level of superior colliculus what happened you are having of course cortex then you are having med brain pons med brain spinal cord so we are discussing here med brain level of superior colliculus <coughs> So the third nerve comes out directly. If we go a little down at the level of inferior colliculus, we are having fourth nerve nucleus. And the fourth nerve nucleus, the concept is that the fourth nerve nucleus gave rise to the contralateral fourth nerve. Contralateral fourth nerve. So the concept behind this is that if a patient is having weakness on the right side of the body and his left eye is deviated to the left side, where is the stroke? Left eye is deviated to the left side. We have already covered lecture on the on the on the third, fourth, and sixth nerve. And whether we discussed when the eye is looking outward, this is the legion of third nerve. So patient is having weakness of the right side of the body and his left side is deviated to the outside eye looking outward and downward so this is when which of course third nerve is involved but which side third nerve left side or right side left side another mcq is that which side nucleus is involved i am talking about the third nerve the outside eye looking out and down the left nucleus is involved so it means the nucleus, the nerve, and the representation of the third neural region, they are all epsilatory. Now if we talk about the fourth nerve, that is very tricky. Because the nucleus lies contralateral to the nerve. So if a patient is having weakness of the right side of the body, and the patient is having fourth neural palsy on the right side, where is the legion? Is it the left? Midbrain or the right midbrain? Well, the answer to this is it is the left midbrain. The left midbrain. It is the left midbrain. The right forenerve is involved because it is arising from the left fourth nucleus. So, and if the question asks which nucleus is involved, right or left? So left. So if a patient is having paralysis of the right fourth nerve, which side nucleus is involved? Left fourth cranial nerve or right fourth cranial nerve? The answer to this is left fourth cranial nerve nucleus. <coughs> if you are going retrogradely, the representation of a lesion, the patient is having fourth nerve palsy on the right side. Which nerve is involved? Right fourth cranial nerve. Now, if the question asks which nucleus is involved, this is the left fourth nucleus. Similarly, the same for left side of the body, we have to answer regarding the nucleus right side. This is for fourth nerve, not for third nerve. <coughs> and there is another MCQ, a patient is having weakness on the right side of the body and he cannot he cannot move his left eye laterally. 
he cannot move his left eye laterally now <clears throat> the answer to this question is why is he cannot moving his left eye laterally the lateral movement is caused by sixth cranial nerve lateral movement is caused by lateral rectus so if you are having paralysis in the sixth nerve you cannot abduct the eye <clears throat> if you cannot abduct the eye it means sixth nerve is involved if sixth nerve is involved we already know the sixth nerve arises from bone <clears throat> so we are picking again and again the wrong answer over there the patient is having weakness on the right side of the body and he develops diplopia and looking towards the left he is developing diplopia and looking towards the left because his left sixth nerve is involved he cannot abduct this eye if he cannot abduct this eye if it means when he move his eye he develop diplopia so left sixth nerve is paralyzed and if the left sixth nerve is paralyzed that is arising from bones this is not the midbrain the midbrain answer is a patient is having weakness on the right side of the body and his left eye is deviated <coughs> now i i am repeating again and again this because so that you memorize it easily and pick the right option <coughs> a patient is having weakness on the left side of the body and his both eyes are deviated toward the right both eyes this is the cortex or internal capsule or mca stroke a patient is having aphasia dominant hemisphere a patient is having only homonymous semi anopia only homonymous semi anopia with weakness of the body think of non dominant hemisphere when it comes to to to, to aphasia then we should answer the dominant hemisphere <clears throat> so the pontin stroke i think we should correct this and uh, another is about the lateral medullary syndrome that comes again and again and that that mcq states a patient is having weakness of the right side of the body and constricted pupil on the left side of the body weakness on the right side of the body and constricted pupil on the left side on the left eye so what we think we think this is third nerve palsy we think this is third nerve palsy because it is stored in our subconscious mind that whenever there is a problem with the pupil we should pick the mid, the, mid, the, the the third nerve and we should pick the midbrain this is wrong constricted pupil we should think about the horner syndrome and the cpsp is checking you again and again and this mcq patient is having weakness on the right side of the body and 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 he is having a, a constricted pupil this is not the midbrain this is horner syndrome this is actually lateral medullary syndrome this is lateral medullary syndrome so we should think of think of this lateral medullary syndrome constricted pupil <coughs> the cpsp is giving you uh, not the full detail rather just one word rather just one clue so you have to to pick from that clue from that word so i think i have covered the the the, the main things uh, the main cq uh, coming from the brain stem and we should focus and we should uh, we should memorize these and we should study these again and again especially the distribution of nerve in the midbrain bones and medulla the the the, the decussation of the fourth nerve <coughs> there is another mcq a patient got trauma from the back which nerve is involved so we know that the fourth nerve comes out of the brain posteriorly so the fourth nerve is vulnerable to 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 that another mcq is a patient is having nasopharyngeal carcinoma and he develops diplopia which nerve is involved the answer to this mcq is that the the, the sixth nerve <coughs> because sixth, sixth nerve has a longest root and it passes through the, uh, the at the roof of the nasopharynx so your patient is having nasopharyngeal ca it uh, actually invades the sixth nerve and uh, he is having diplopia Uh, after uh, legion of the sixth nerve <clears throat> so we must be clear regarding the mcq and uh, we must be clear 
regarding the options that are given so if there is any confusion regarding this mcq you can ask in the comment section below uh, so that i can answer the question and i can make another video if uh, it still demands more explanation but the confusion is uh, more about the facial neuropalsy with the weakness of the body that i already explained in my previous videos <coughs> another scenario that comes again and again is only motor weakness of the body which side is involved only motor weakness of the body that is actually internal capsule <coughs> posterior limb we will discuss it in the, another video another mcq is power sensory stroke power sensory stroke where is the lesion internal capsule again the interior limb another mcq they, they, that will confuse you is a patient is having pure sensory stroke with hyperalgesia there is increased pain sensation now the answer to this is telemus if there is no increased pain sensation the answer still is internal capsule but if if the the, the, the stem asks about uh, the hyperalgesia the <coughs> perception of even a normal stimulus perception of even touch a pain so that is actually the answer to the to the to the stimulus to the to the telemus that 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 is the answer answer to that uh, stem is telemus so thank you